Welcome to the Smart Board Revolution Global Virtual User Group Special Edition, Smart Survival Guide. This lesson is Finding Ready-Made Lessons, and I'm your host, Matt Granger. We're going to take a look at a couple. There are many, many more, but we're just going to take a look at a couple that will give you a few to start with. So the first one, the Smart Exchange. Smart has its own website, uh, Exchange dot smarttech dot com so you're gonna come up here top right join for free create yourself an account once you do that you'll be able to sign in and then start downloading it'll have your username up here that you create and now you can start searching you'll notice here that you can search so keywords uh, time five minutes search and any that have those uh, telling time to five minutes have the word time so here's the telling time five minute intervals right so now click to preview so you click on it and then you can scroll through quickly and see open in smart notebook express if you want to actually try it out a little bit or you want to get a little bit more feel for what it's going to be like you can click that button and it will open it at least as of now September 2012 there's a smart notebook express it's going to be changing at some point but when you it'll still work it's going to be a web-based version but it, it'll have a different name so when you click that it's gonna load up that file depending on how big it is we'll determine how long it takes and then so you open it the flash stuff works in this lesson this one has a sound attached and that works So you kind of get an idea of, a better idea of what the file is like. If you like it, because you notice it just started a, a new tab, it opened it in a new tab, so I can close it. I go back here and then you can just click download when you find it, the, uh, the lesson file that you want. You may find more than one. So you download a couple of them. You can then combine the pages and stuff or change some of the pages later. Uh, and then over here, notice on the left, you have narrow results. Smart notebook files, smart notebook lessons. Some of you with the 800 series boards that have the dual and now quad touch where you can have more than one person touching at a time. So these were specifically built for that kind of a board. You wouldn't get the same functionality on a, a board that doesn't have the dual touch. Uh, a notebook lesson that uses the math tools, which you have to have a subscription for. So, again, it may or may not be able to use it as it's intended. So it'll lose some functionality. Smart response questions. So... And by clicking that, it's going to filter it. So here's telling time. Question five, telling time, question three. So these look like individual pages. All right, so you can download them. Uh, Smart response, Sentio is the old name for it. So you can find those if you have one of those. So these are questions. Those are individual questions. Question sets would be several questions in one file. All right, gallery collections. So these are specific times. So when you click on this and you download it to your computer, when you double click that file, it's going to open up and put a collection of images relating related to the topic of time. The collection has various analog and digital time images. So those will show up then in your gallery in the My Content. Um, so you can narrow your results here. You can also browse, if I just go back home here quickly. You can also browse here, so you've got your subjects. 
you can browse grades and then file type again same things that were over on the side so you can look specifically for files of certain types and then up here your tabs you can also find standards correlated lesson you have your state standards but also down here in the C's should be the common core state standards so then you can select your grade level the subject English language arts math and then view so it's going to show any common core so here's the standard math third grade Right, and also you've got sections because this is all the common core or whatever for third grade math so you've got different sections and then the view resources will then show you which lessons are available a warning I would say just because it's in here doesn't necessarily mean that it is correlated to that standard because you know, sometimes people just oh it has the word measurement in it and here's a standard for measurement boom you throw it together and there you go it covers that standard so just saying just saying uh, over here you've got the number of downloads so you know that might be uh, something to look at although just because that has 10,000 and this one only has 2700 you know this one could be fabulous but it's only been there for two months where the other one's been there for two years so doesn't necessarily mean anything but something to check on so that is the smart exchange okay the next place that you can search is just do a smart search on Google so you go to Google and let's say you want to do a smart board fraction now you've got I mean this is giving you some suggestions you got games lessons activities right. uh, you could select one of those or if you want to be more specific smart board fraction elementary lessons so right the first couple are from the exchange but now we're getting this longwood from new york uh, squidoo smart board interactive fraction lesson so this may not be a smart notebook file but it could be an interactive site smart board lessons fractions and right? it's on that page somewhere so just another way to search okay so you put smart board in there uh, whatever your topic is elementary if you wanted middle school or high school lessons right, that's gonna also get you closer to the results that you're looking for join us for our monthly Spurgvug meetings somewhere around the beginning of each month smartboardrevolution.ning.com for more information up at the top of the page there's a Spurgvug section and you can find out when the next meeting is going to be how to join and attend that meeting live and there's also a link for all the recordings for the previous meetings now you can find lessons that are pre-made you may not be able to make them yourselves yet but you can find some pre-made lessons that you can then use to help teach as well join us for our next episode of the Spurgvug Special Edition Smart Survival Guides.